<laughs> That's his only function. Raids. Recording in progress. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry. No, you're good. You're good, dudes. Is everybody ready already? Oh, yeah. All there right. All right. Go. Let's hit it. Hello, hello, and welcome to our humble little podcast. This is Atlantis After Dark, the greatest place in all of cyberspace. If your Uncle Jack helped you off a horse, would you then help your Uncle Jack off a horse? I'll tell you what, I'm ready to go already. You guys are too. That was terrible. Let's get right into it. And uh, I'll tell you what, let's meet today's all-stars. Uh, first up, joining us on the show today, she was really upset this morning. I said, what's wrong? She said, last night was daylight savings time. I said, yeah, that sucks, but it's nothing to get upset over. She said, it's not that. My boyfriend thinks he lasted an hour and two minutes in bed last night. It's the <laughs> lovely and talented DCL Junk. How are you today, Miss Junk? Good, good. A personal record. <laughs> personal record. Oh. oh, God. We oh, are God. glad. What was that, Tootie? So that was a good one. Thank you, buddy. We are glad to have you here today, Miss Junk. Up next, he is the gangster of ganja. The other day, he went to the doctor, and the doctor told him, you're going to have to stop masturbating. He said, why? The doctor said, because I'm trying to examine you. It sucked you. Welcome, sir. I told you that in confidence. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> no, not, not much, not much. I liked your intro, man. I liked how it emphasizes the importance of punctuation. It does. It does. It does. The difference between jacking off your uncle <laughs> on a horse or jacking off a horse, I guess. I don't know. I don't so want to do either. See, oh, I fucked that all up. See, that's what you get for smoking a joint right before you come on the air. My bad. It's all good, dude. <laughs> Happy to be here, though. Thanks for having me. Good deal. Good deal. All right. Everybody knows this next all-star. He found a woman tied to the train tracks like in an old-time TV show. So he untied her and took her home. The whole night was incredible. They had sex eight or nine times. Afterward, he went to the bar to celebrate. All of his friends were green with envy. They said, well, was she a good-looking woman? He said, I don't know. I never found her head. <gasps> it's Tootie Tron. Welcome <laughs> to the show. Oh, oh my, my God. God. That amazing. amazing. Oh, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's Necro Tootie. It's great. I love dark humor, but holy <laughs> fuck, that caught me off guard. Wow. Like oh. I was thinking, sitting there like eight or nine times, like I can't barely get to one, <laughs> and you're like, the punchline was way out of my league. I was like, oh. perfect, perfect oh, joke, man. perfect yeah. joke. Well, thank well you, done. thank you. I, was, well I thought it was an Golf old flats. classic, but yeah, thank you. All right, welcome, one and all. This is all we have today, folks. So we're gonna have a, a, a very nice, quiet, and and hopefully intimate conversation with the All Stars today. Oh, we are the most intimate of the crew. <laughs> exactly. We are. Exactly. We are. We're all half naked. Well, 100% actually. Yeah, I say Tootie's 100%. Not wearing yeah. Pants, it's true. All right, Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> He's going full <laughs> poo on us, folks. Duck. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Well, I'll tell you guys what. Um, let's get into some Marvel <laughs> Snap. <laughs> <laughs> What's Thanos that, and the dude? Infinity Stones. How do you play them and where? what deck do you build around him? Um, what do you think? What are some of the order locations you want to play the stones in? Because they have an effect no matter where you play oh, them. Oh, careful. careful. Wait, they oh, added what? Infinity Stones to that game? Oh, yeah. There's Infinity Stones. If you get, Mar you get Thanos, you get Infinity Stones. They fly into your deck, and it's awesome. Oh, wow. Yeah, and you can and use AB them. AB finally caved to monetization. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, pay for no. Oh, that makes sense. No, I'm not, this is not a paywall thing. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's a gag. I'm kidding. Uh, um, totally before, want DC to steal the, that game idea. Right, just give me right, the same right. game with DC characters, you fuckers. If you, did, if you did, we would change our podcast to that. I would start playing that every fucking day. That would be great. <laughs> God dang. Before we start, I wanted to ask, and I know that Tootie is in rough fucking shape today, but I'm really sorry for that, pal. But I, we, we have to ask. We need to follow up from last week. Did your ass cream work or not? Um. So I tried it, and I think I did it wrong. Um, <laughs> How do you do ass cream wrong? You mean the wrong side? What do you mean? <laughs> I didn't read the directions. Like, dumbass me. Like, the only thing that the box says is, you know, leave it on for at least four minutes and then take it off 
and for some reason inside the box there was a random scoop and then excuse me um so i i, I didn't know how much to use i didn't know uh it's a kind of a small bottle so i didn't want to use like a lot and then it also apparently i wasn't supposed to rub it in you're just supposed to like clump it on your body and i rubbed it in oh, no. um, and i didn't feel any like tingling i didn't do anything like that so i'm gonna try it again let me go get it and yeah then... those don't work those don't work by the way like 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 neat and nair and all that stuff they don't they don't really work? work no, no. Don't i've work. read no. so terrible. many reviews that they were like i mean are... unless unless you have really like thin wispy hair because what it does it basically like dissolves like right at the base of the skin sort of no. so yeah. and also the scoop is so like you don't touch your eyes after like you don't if you use your hands and oh. touch your eyes it would like really be bad so I think that's why the scoop's there. You need Let to go back go to waxing. My pants. I'm going to go take my pants off and then I'm going to go put it on right now. Yeah, screenshot it. And <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we'll time it on on air and we'll I'll see if it comes off. Okay? Yeah, the whole time you were talking about uh, that, all I could think of was Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, you know, <laughs> where Kate Capshaw has to reach into that hole. To, to hit the button you know and, and at first it's it, there's like one that's really clean and one that has like slime and bugs and just like yeah that's all i could think about oh i'll be right back one second all right all right well we uh we wait for tootie to to come back i, I guess um we're not really going to talk about marvel snap today guys we're going to talk about some dcl right. um we have some great content lined up for you matter of fact let's just kick it off he's going to go cake his ass with with powder oh. Oh, you saw my visitor. Yes. <laughs> Hello, bird. This is the kitty cat. Her name is Bird. Oh, all right. She is she is the love of my life, aren't you, little bird? Aren't you so sweet? For those of you who can't see uh, what A.B. looks like, it's actually a full-sized ocelot uh, with half of a pigeon in its mouth. <laughs> <laughs> no, she is. She only weighs about five pounds. She's, still, she's very tiny. See, I, um, I thought you were going to go for the, the layup joke there. For those who can't see it right now, A.B. is stroking his favorite pussy. <laughs> yeah, that would have been good. Uh, okay, kid, you're going to have to give me some slack on the cable. Okay, sorry about the technical difficulties, folks. Um, where's Tootie and that ass cream already? I know. It's not supposed to be caking it on like frosting. I want to see that asshole. Yeah, and turn the was, camera on, Tootie. Asshole. He's gagging, he's laughing now. He's in the background. Yeah, I want to see that asshole and whatever that stuff is that he put on his butt. Okay, it is on my pubes, <laughs> and it's it's eleven twenty four right now. So I'll take it off at eleven thirty two. Eleven twenty four is where his penis is pointing. Well, so it's only eight <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Right. <laughs> right, 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 and like, and like once once it moves a little bit, once he uh, we'll, we'll try and help you out to get to eleven thirty two. Oh my gosh! Okay, it's definitely clumped on, <laughs> and it's a little cold. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that's an excuse. It's uh, let's like, yeah, what? It's cold outside. I had shrinkage. Did not uh, rub it in this time. So good, good. Did you use the scoop? I used the, <laughs> the scoop. Yes. 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 Make sure you don't get that in your your fingers and touch your like eyes or mouth. I will not. I one time I got icy hot in my eye. That was not a good time. Oh, damn. No, no. Yeah, no. I was like crying because it was hot and then cold in my eyeball, and I was like, "God damn, this! I love this shit, but fuck me." Wow. All right, but, but sorry, you were talking about the content we had. I'm sorry. Who me? No. Yes. I was gonna say uh, you won't find this kind of stuff on WROL, folks. <laughs> oh absolutely not no um, they do this in private yeah they, yeah they, uh, they wax is... their assholes in private uh and bleach their assholes oh god i think hate mail needs where to does be... the bleaching the asshole come from everyone keeps talking about bleaching an asshole i don't recall anybody mentioning that oh. no i'm sorry that's no. uh, <laughs> I, was like, I don't think Tootie did that i think it just cleaned that's, up that's the... my spoiler for next week i think week. it was just like taking down the forest it was deforestation it's on my bucket list to get my asshole bleached that's for sure well then there you have it my bad yeah. my no, bad it's, miss junk it's... you were you were correct sorry yeah yeah i, yeah, I, I <laughs> look for future standard. trends in 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 our in our podcast you know and that's just uh i just want to know Tootie, if you're not rubbing it in now does that mean you get to rub one off later Oh, honey, that happens every day. Don't <laughs> um, but no, blah, what is it called? Bleaching my asshole 
has been on my bucket list for a <laughs> while. It's like um, one of the, like those grooming standards, you know, that are like almost unattainable. Kind of like laser hair removal, you know, like it's it's something that you like. You have to make a call to a doctor and be like, "Hey, my asshole is like the color of a black hole. I really I need help." You know, and that's a weird conversation to have with a doctor or really anyone. Right. I want to go from Burt Hubbard to Sunset Rose, if I could. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sunset I mean, they're Rose. Just like, okay. I mean, <laughs> like you're choosing an iPhone color. I want rose right, gold. Right. Mm-hmm. Do that. Yeah, they, but yeah, lighter shade, like, I don't know, something in a mocha. <laughs> we have like scientific words for asshole and, you know, rose gold you know <laughs> yeah first of all like some of those places like there's there's a massage parlor near where uh you know some of those places that do that it's like don't don't get too full of yourself like they put like the best the best back rub into, i'm like i'm guessing you have one of the best front rubs too so 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 get off your get off your high horse there <laughs> did i tell you guys my happy ending story no enlighten oh, us buddy okay let's tell you that story real quick so Alrighty. i went to a massage place uh what was it three or four months ago and um, it was called like Asian Therapeutic Massage or, or something like that. And I'd never been to this place before. I go to get massages all the time. Um, and this place was the only one that was like, we can get you today. And I was like, bet, I'll go. Um, and I go in and I always wear my underwear during um, an, a massage. And I go in and this lady barely speaks English. She, she looks at me as I am... Um, I'm bar- I'm getting onto the table as she walks in. Like, I'm not even on the table yet. She's like, no, 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 no. You take off. And I'm like, wait, what? And she's like, no, no, no. Take take off. Take off. And she doesn't even leave the room. She's just standing there waiting for me to take my underwear off. I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, so I, like, undress in front of her and get on the table. And uh, whatchamacallit, she puts the sheet on me, covers my whole body, and then basically almost removes the whole fucking thing like it's she she moves it so it's halfway down my ass crack and then like she moves her arms up and down my body i'm laying on my stomach um and she starts at my shoulders and she like goes all the way to the bottom of my ass like she like scoops my cheeks on the way back up (laughs) and i'm like okay wow this is an intimate massage um like normally i go like massage envy where they're all like professionals and shit um and whatchamacallit so i've never not worn my underwear so i'm like fighting the urge to have like a boner um and there comes to the point where she wants me to flip over and i at this point have been like 30 ish minutes into the massage and i'm like pretty successful at this point at keeping my boner (laughs) down um you know you just got to think about you know dead puppies and grandmas and shit like that (laughs) And um, Trigon, think of Trigon. Yeah, Trigon. Right. Trigon. There it is. Took There's the boner juice out. right out of you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what should we call it? She starts like patting down the the sheet above my dick. Like the dick is like the only thing not out and exposed at this point. Like the sheet is basically not on my body at all, except for on my dick. And she is basically like touching it and getting all around it and basically ignoring the upper half of my body. I'm like, what is going on right now? Like this bitch wants it to be hard. And um, whatchamacallit, it was like the end of the massage and she almost took the sheet off my dick and then somebody walked in the lobby for a massage, like uh, walk-in appointment. And she was like, oh, I, I must go check him in. And I was like, oh my God, yes, please check him in. Uh, <laughs> so that was that was almost uh, a full ass happy ending. I, I'm like, I've never ever been so like. That sounds like a frustrated ending. Not I know, I was going to say. <laughs> yeah, no. It, what, it was, this, was where is this place? And thrilling, don't get me wrong, but I was More like. More of a pleasant wrap up? Right. <laughs> yeah. Like, this is an interesting story to tell. This, yeah. Uh, yeah. This is a TV friendly, yeah, closing. Uh, wait, now, this place, did it have like a security guard door where they had to buzz you in? No, not even. Uh, okay. Like, That's what I hear most of like if they if a massage place has that, that usually means they're uh, have left scruples. I had my mother told me when I um, went and visited her, she's like, oh my God, I think that place 
is the one that I read on the article where, you know, they might have gotten caught for sexual, you know, favors <laughs> or whatever. And I was like, oh, my God. Like We, we had that, like, 10 minutes from my house around here. And now mm. the place is like a uh, dentist office. It got shut down. And that was like the China <laughs> massage parlor that got shut down. And they had, like, drug trafficking and, oh like, sex trafficking on top of it going on there. And then they all got shut down. And now there's, like, a dentist office in the building. And I'm like, ooh, I don't know if I would have gone in that building. Right. Little does she know that I checked the reviews before I went. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, it's thirty-two. I'm gonna go wipe my dick off. I'll all right, all right. Let's. All let's, right, thank you. Let's. Um, right. we wait with bated and, breath. And on that note, Mary Marvel. <laughs> Mary Marvel. <laughs> yeah, uh, I promise, folks. We're we're gonna get to some DCL here in a minute, but we started this little fucking experiment and i think we're going to wind up finishing it how long yeah, does it take i don't take... know if this is better for the podcast i don't either for our listeners but uh i'm not gonna yeah hey i'm the new one i'm the new one in the bunch i don't make those decisions <laughs> oh, the inmates are God. running the asylum that's, that's he's pretty like, much i don't it. know what to fucking do here i yeah, know that's pretty much it <laughs> that's pretty much by it. the way have you, have you geared up indigo and mary marvel like i you? have i yeah. have both okay good so fully can... geared fully leveled Waiting so on we'll have um, we'll have thanks to and I also know that uh, before we're, we're waiting for two to get back. You know, DCL junk, Miss Junk, you yes. put a video out on uh, Indigo relatively. Uh, I did, uh, I did. Yeah. yeah, I put out one on Indigo, and, and like this is just testing around. Like all my videos, I don't, I want to go in and say like, here's how you use a tune to win. <laughs> I'm like, right. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I'm I hope, <laughs> I hope I win. That's all. I, I don't even care anymore. Um, yeah. So I, I basically just brought her in to see if the it was viable to get rid of diseases and like there's one against a trigon and uh maybe just a trigon where this match took for it was the trigon but they also had a barda and it just mm -hmm. took like i could have gone on forever without trigon killing me because uh, i didn't have anyone who could kill their barda but like the disease that kept piling on she just got rid of non-stop so it, it was very viable to get rid of the disease now i mean now you yeah, obviously it's like you know, it's one of those, it's almost like a stalemate, you know, so you needed a lot of other people around, but, um, and that was just, but yeah, I think, I think she has a lot of great things. I love that. Obviously that's the biggest one, uh, but she does, she does shield. So, so you could use someone like, uh, like, um, a stripe, you know, she does mend, she does overheal. She does, uh, so she does a lot of good stuff. Turn meter down. Yeah, I like her. I, I think she slots into a lot of different teams, but like you said, she needs she needs the punching power and the help around her to finish off the threats that she's countering. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she'll keep it a stalemate with Trigon, but you might see those scales tipped once you add Cheshire. However, right. you can tip the scales back in your favor, throwing like Ultraman on your team or somebody right. else who sends the diseases back along with her healing capability so um she does have a lot of cool stuff going on i do like the shields too because you can run her with like somebody like cyborg superman against cheshire mm -hmm. because then you can still even purge his diseases off and make him even tougher so um i think she does a lot of good things uh, uh but i think she needs the help because right. i mean she's not game changing on her own she needs somebody to to finish off people as she's keeping you alive which is fine. I mean, I, I yeah, think that's yeah, fine. That, I like that. I like yeah, that. Yeah, I don't have a problem the, either. Right. I, I mean, you know, part of me just wishes there would be a, a character like if anyone dies from disease, murder everyone on the other side <laughs> immediately and you win. And that's it. You know, that would be great. Or how about, I mean, bring back some of the, I, I, again, I fucking hate resurrection teams, but why not, like, if your ally dies from bleeds or disease, re at least resurrect one time, or something right. like that, like a passive ability on one of these um, resurrection-based tunes oh, right, right. that counters the people just popping left and right from disease and bleeds. Yeah, so, I mean, I, know, I think... I'm sure, like, eventually there's going to be someone who's immune to disease. You know, I'm sure that's coming, like, a, like, yeah, or, or, I just feel yeah, like, like we need a different like mechanic because then we're running into that same cycle mm -hmm. of, okay, now they're immune to disease, just like, so now we have these specified immunities. Then there's going to be disease through disease immunity. Right. And it's just yep. that continuous cycle. So I would hope that, like, maybe a different mechanic might apply so yeah right. we like if they, the star system is what kind of makes that shitty but if you eliminate the star system in pvp or if you get to the stage of the game where you just don't fucking care about pvp mm -hmm. which is where i am right now um and you don't care about getting three stars then why not use some of those revive based mechanics and that would be cool if they rework somebody that does revives you know maybe yeah. cersei because everybody's been talking about how she's been power crept well right. maybe she gets a rework and part of her re revive kit is yeah not only 
only did she revive people that die, but if they die from disease and whatever, they re you know they respawn with debuff immunity or something right, like right. that too. So then they can't be re-diseased right away. Which again, Cheshire is going to cut through that, but at least that helps you with Trigon and the other diseasers. Mm -hmm. so, I don't no, know. Absolutely. And and honestly, like this whole thing could be fixed with a nerf of Trigon. So like, is yeah, know, but we so, don't like nerfs. But, that, but apparently, <laughs> I, all you have to, like if, if they made that 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 thing that procs all the time instead of 50 percent, make it like 10 25 or something yeah yeah it's just, yeah. yeah yeah instead it's like especially with with the rng that the they have on pvp it, it hits all the time mm -hmm. um and I, i'm sure they do something intentionally because every time i go up against a harley quinn you know where who has like a what a 40 percent chance to enrage it was yeah, like she enraged, enraged me like three times in a row i'm thinking like the odds of that are like 0.4 times 0.4 i'm just like there's no come on come on Oh, yeah. Well, and I just, I have the worst luck when it comes to RNG odds on anything. Like, I was asking mm -hmm. that question in, in uh, the Alliance chat the other day. I just randomly posted, hey, what's everyone's experience against Impulse? How often does does he actually open with his two because right. in my mind i've seen that happen like maybe two out of ten times he opens with his two and i'm like sitting here in siege like hmm i could counter this this martian manhunter impulse team with black flash assuming he's going to open with his three right. which he usually does mm -hmm. of course he opened with his two and that's just you know cascades and crushes the whole match and you're just like come on man that's bullshit it's like the computer fucking knows I it's just like it's like when you bring aquaman <laughs> in siege you can almost count on black flash like using his basic on the first attack just because it's like oh i brought the appropriate counter and the mm -hmm. computer knows yeah. that so fuck yeah. you <laughs> he's i had a black flash go, uses his, his basic twice against me when i had an aqua i'm like what do you come on that's just yeah. bullshit there's yeah, no reason bullshit. for that that's like one of the CSRs is sitting live playing you on the opposite side, and we don't know that they can do that. And they're just, yeah, that's right. How they get their shits and giggles. Steve's over there actually randomly playing people in the community, just going, ah, fuck you. Yeah. It's like we made this counter, but <laughs> you talk about me on the podcast. Counter. Fuck you. <laughs> Tootie, are you okay over there? Did you, yeah, did you live? What happened to his dick at this point? I know. I'm here. Is your okay. dick okay? Yeah. So um, I'm Googling what the name for where, like, the pubic region is, and all I'm getting is the vulva, and I don't know if that's for me. <laughs> um, I think you can go with pubic region. I think yeah, okay, fine. we'll just call it the pubic region. There is a very large chunk of hair that is now gone, which is... Oh, all right. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. My crevices um, are still a little fuzzy, um, so we'll have to take care of that. But I'll uh, have to try again a little bit later. But yeah, good chunk if it's gone and it's nice and smooth. So oh, yeah. good. Does, that, does that cover the question and talk yeah, with us I, now? I, I, I think that... so. I, I think I think that's a ringing endorsement. I mean, we we want to know about the asshole specifically, but right. You know, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. That one's gonna be a bit harder. I'm not yes. entirely sure. Yes. Like, yeah. I'll have to get on my hands and knees, and then like. I, someone's gonna have to paint me like a french girl you know what I mean? <laughs> right right that's uh that's gonna be what yeah I don't, I or, or on your back with your like you know one of those things and a like, mirror yeah legs up ass down right, right. in the stirrups <laughs> oh yeah take a paint roller to it that's like a tempting position though you know it's very vulnerable <laughs> right it's like right. yeah here's my asshole oh my you can either paint it or fuck me all right, well, <laughs> that's yeah, that's that's the new one, like the immobile turtle. There it is, the immobile yeah. turtle. Uh, all right, Tootie, what do you think about indigo? Now that we know about your dick, what about indigo? Okay, yeah, we can get off my dick for a little bit. Um, so indigo is very good at one thing, and that is the clearing of diseases, which is really nice. Um, I do think that she unfortunately is still very susceptible to um blue burst damage like she's good against disease comps but she's not good against like black adams specters you know people that are more about raw damage than they are about diseases like if you're up against trigon or cheshire then you know she's a perfect person to throw in the comp um if you're not then she's best left on the side although my favorite part about her is that the animators actually gave her an animation for when she clears the debuffs like this game has basically a bunch of effects just kind of like happening randomly because of people's passives and you don't have an animation 99 percent of the time that triggers when they do their like passive um 
So it was really, really nice to see that, you know, every time she clears debuffs, you know, she she raises elevation or staff like points a little purple laser at people. Um, and that is awesome to me. And I, I really hope they continue doing stuff like that because there's so many little passives in the game that like I don't I don't know that are happening unless you like check people's buffs and debuffs and shit like um so it's it's nice to have a visual like trigger or uh something to show me the player that something is actually happening and i i love that about indigo that's my favorite part nice so it sounds like she got a lot of good uh a lot of goodies in her rework uh she's yeah, a little more happened. viable in honor of uh, Indigo, I actually braided my pubic hair, so it looks oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and like Rose, just like she has. So yeah, nice. That's cute. The light of compassion. <laughs> <laughs> right, the light of compassion. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh man. So let's shift over to Mary Shazam, and I know Tootie's probably going to have a lot to say about this rework. Um, in fact, why don't we just start with you, buddy? Um, how do you sure. think she has changed? Do you think she's changed for the better? I thought I know she's changed for the better, but but give me the details, man. She slaps people with her ten inch dick, like she <laughs> like whips out the Sith lightning, um, and says, you know, what was Emperor Palpatine's favorite like line? Fuck, I can't remember it. Um. I mean, yeah. what do you mean? Just when he screams unlimited power? Yeah. Yeah. Some, <laughs> something like that. Unlimited. Yeah. Because yeah. she gets fucking 20 intubs when she uses it. And she is just so good now. Um, she was bugged at the beginning of the month, just like everybody else was. Um, thankfully, that has been fixed. Most of the bugs have been fixed for the month already. I don't remember any of the bugs that haven't been fixed. What about uh, Molly's purge on her basic? Because I don't think I saw that work when I used her last night. Uh, like I said, most. Okay, I'm, okay. Molly, I just want to make sure I didn't miss. Yeah, one. Molly has issues still. <laughs> okay. Molly is is someone I haven't really played around with a whole lot yet. Unfortunately, I need to. But yeah. Um. But as far as Mary's like, because it was just really her purge that wasn't working. Um. And now it is working quite well. Um. Like her and the wizard together is hilarious because. Like when if it's when it's the enemy turn, like um the wizard will steal a bunch of buffs. And when it's your ally turn, Mary will just purge a bunch of buffs so that the enemy team is just like constantly losing buffs all the time. Um and that's kind of just funny to watch, to be honest with you. But um she slaps really, really hard. She I feel like she's a little less tanky than she used to be somehow. Like she used to be able to take a hit a bit better. Now she doesn't as much, but she still has death immunity in her kit, so I'm not too upset by it. Um, honestly, I, I think she is one of the best Shazams. Like her, Billy, and the Wizard are all really, really good. Um, Freddy is acceptable to a degree. He's just a squishy little bitch. Um, <laughs> and that's really the only thing keeping him off of my teams right now. Even though he's RB5, he just dies so easily. So that's really the only issue i have with freddy um but he still hits hard you know he's strength strength based where all three of the others are special damage based um so yeah mary mary's great i love her i really do i've had fun playing with her like i think she's a, a good rework um i like that she's kind of similar to what she did before but better i think i heard that description before her release that she was going to do a lot of the same stuff but do it better and she really does um I really like the fact that uh, even though St. Walker's not the strongest tune, he's a great one to pair her with for the Siege because once she has those 20 intelligence ups ramped, you can call her assist twice and then she just like basic punches two other tunes into oblivion. So that's like a really cool combination that's enabled me to get a couple 20 pointers. So that was exciting. Um, I don't know what I want to do with her though. Like I, I'm, I'm looking to rebalance my roster a little bit because I've gone a bit uh, energy tune heavy on my rebirths, and I'm looking for like blues that should be up in the RB three to RB five range. And I'm, I'm thinking about her. I don't know. What do you think, DCL Junk? I, I mean, I like her. I just like there, there are a lot of blues that ramp and do heavy damage. You, yeah. You know? And I, so I, I think, I, like, I, like I, someone was asking. I almost think like if, if you like, it, like he had a an RB three black adam i thought like i i don't think you need mary like i, I don't know like no. like i'm not saying mary yeah 
worse or better. I just think like 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 you if you have like a, a a high RB Stitch or a high RB Black Adam, I just don't know that you'll need a Mary, you know, or I, vice versa. Well, I think what I'm looking for there is the AOE attack, right? Because I mean, I guess you know Etrigan can kind of do it with his AOE once you ramp him up too. So I guess I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what I'm looking for there. But I do like her buff purging ability on top of her damaging mm-hmm. ability, like Duty was saying. Um, the fact that she can randomly purge those two buffs every time your allies are taking a turn. You know, it's it's just fun to watch, and it's a useful utility that some of those other damagers don't have. Right. Um. You know, Spectre and, and, comes to mind when you think of the powerhouse blue that can purge buffs because Dark Side can't purge buffs. Etrigan can't purge buffs. Um. I don't think this Vandal doesn't purge buffs. He purges his own debuffs. So yeah, like, there's right. no, but uh, Black Adam a, does. Uh, that's why Black Adam can. Yeah. yeah. So that's yeah. That's a good point. Where Black Adam is, I don't have an, an RB three Black Adam though. So <laughs> right, right. No, no, no. And, and I like her. And I love the fact that she has that. Like that ability got beefed up. Where if someone dies, where she does that move. And I think yeah, that, like that that move has just been like has nuked like three people for me once, and, and it was great. Well, it's crazy, too. Like, if you use her third and then somehow somebody on the other team kills one of your allies, you can bet your ass that whole team's going mm-hmm. down when she triggers that passive because she hits that AoE again with 20 intelligence ups, and it's just like, whoa, holy yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. What happens? So, I don't know. I like her. I don't know. I'm debating. Absolutely. I'm debating on I bringing her up to, like, RB3-ish range. I it's think. a great rework. I, I, I think, like, yeah, it's one of those characters, like, if, if you like the character, she's absolutely worth investing in. If she gets a six day, she's absolutely worth getting. Yeah, I think I'm going to roll bomb. the dice on the six day, is yeah. the plan. <laughs> yeah, I even bought a pack, and I bought uh, just because I wanted to make sure I had enough to get her to RB2. Mm-hmm. Um, or, or RB1, rather, without the six day, and with the six day, I'll probably have enough to get her to RB3. But... Okay. I used to compare like when savage got reworked i uh compared him to like the top tier echelon of blues um and i think mary fits in there as well as like with the mm-hmm. etrigans and the black adams and all that stuff um i think they're all kind of on the same tier they just all offer just a little bit differences um and what mary offers versus the other ones is more of that turn meter manipulation control mm-hmm. um because she it basically has that castaway um passive where like anytime an ally does damage they also reduce the enemy turn meter a little bit um so she makes your team just a lot faster as a whole um and it's it's great because it doesn't just feel like it's mary that's going faster it does it is your whole team um that gets so many abilities and uh turns in a row which is i think her strongest suit but then also yeah that retaliation is pretty something to fear um and i wish that what they did was um like my, my biggest upsetness with it is uh specter still can get his stun on mary before her retaliation if you're fighting a specter team and somebody dies um because then she won't get that aoe retaliation out unfortunately because she's gotten stunned by Spectre first. So I wish that they had reversed that order of operations because it essentially neutralizes that ability and that pisses me off a little bit. But I mean, Spectre's also kind of, he hasn't fallen off at all, but he's not used to the degree that he was once was because Spectre uh, isn't outshined by Trigon, but it's like a new overpowered toy that I think everyone's enjoying, so... Well, exactly. I think Spectre's also a little more susceptible to Cheshire. Like, Trigon is too, mm-hmm. but he can endure. He can actually survive. If you have a higher rebirth uh, Trigon, I've seen that he can survive Cheshire's two opening attack strikes. Um, and then, of course, he's going to start sending those diseases everywhere else and healing himself and doing all of his other bullshit. But uh, Spectre, even at RB5, I've noticed with my L5 Trigon, just dies almost automatically. So I think that's a part of it, too. Is- yeah pisses me off is that my rb5 shazam who just got a stat boost still gets one shotted by cheshire's oh, that's double, double three at the beginning of a fight I'm, i uh, it pisses me off quite a bit i'm like this is i i realize it's a blue versus a red but like this red is only l5 and i'm rb5 and i just got a stat boost so i should be alive you know, you could at least take the hit. You might be severely yeah, you... damaged, but even my RB5 dark side can take the hit. Right. Exactly. <laughs> so, and like, yeah. he's, what he's not fuck? happy about it. He's down to almost like 25% health, but he's alive. <laughs> 
There's one it, try I got like I got so pissed off at I, I have like an RB2 uh Lady Shiva and uh, I was fighting a, a, an L4 Trigon and I thought like oh no problem one shot no it didn't one shot I got him like to like three quarters of the way down I he did that little heel thing and then I was like and I lost and I did it again same thing I'm like this is I was so infuriated with it oh yeah that He's happens way to me with Dr. Poison but, yeah. too Dr. Poison, yeah. like it used to be like, okay, fuck all these blues, but not right, Trigon, because right. he might just hang on just by that yeah. little thick uh. slice of life. <laughs> Fucking Trigon. It always comes back down to Trigon. Huntress more. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah, right. Huntress, she has the top strength now in the game. Oh, she's so much better after that stat it's... boost. Like, she just, like, mm -hmm. polishes people off. Or, like, sometimes I'll, you know, she used to be harmless in Red Alerts, and it's like, oh, there's a Huntress there. I don't fucking care about Huntress. And then she randomly gets a shot off because I'm not paying attention and, like, mm -hmm. TKOs my Black Flash. And I'm like, oh, this is going to be a much more annoying Red Alert run. <laughs> <laughs> so, does she, so I, didn't, I didn't realize who got a stat boost, but a Huntress got a stat boost. Who else got a stat boost then? Uh, uh, this is... Was this last month or the yeah, month Huntress before? Was oh, was it last that month? Okay, nice okay. That's why I didn't know. Okay. Yeah, it was last month. This month, I don't. Even, I wasn't even paying. I know that Shazam got one, but they didn't actually apply the stat boost when it was first announced, and I haven't used them since, so I don't oh, know. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, oh, Tootie, did they that. fix all that? Did he actually get his stats boosted? So it was the weirdest stat boost that's ever happened, ever. Okay. Um, because they did give him... They didn't really give him a boost. They gave him, like... Uh, a mix around. They kept the exact same power number, like the exact same power number, which is annoying as fuck. Um, and they just moved some numbers around. They gave him less agility, more stamina, and more, just barely more intelligence. That's it. And that was, um, that's it. That's all they did. Yeah, that's not that a boost. Yeah, yeah, it was just like a, a change. Um, I'm looking up the others right now. Yes, Zod, Deathstroke, and Miss Martian. There you go. Deathstroke, I think, is better because mm -hmm. I've used him a couple times in Siege, and he seems like he's hitting a little bit better once you have some buffs on him. His still when he's not got any strength buffs on him, he sucks. But like once you get him buffed a little bit, I've actually been able to pop like a Mary on one hit when she's at like 75% health, you know. So yeah. I think better, but nothing to write home about. Well, and the turn meter when he has down is good, good, good anyway. Yeah. But I mean, but, but yeah. as far as as far as the stat boost, yeah, I totally see that. That's been working really well in Siege too, though. Having him and Mary on the same mm -hmm. team, and then you call their assist with like Saint Walker, and they go twice, and they're double whammy Perfect. with yeah. their turn meter control. So, yeah, it's been a fun way to uh, manipulate things. I also really like how they took the Siege characters, the extra four. Mm -hmm. And three out of four of them are the stat boosts, which I was like, that's yeah. kind of smart. Like, it gets, actually lets us use them um, and see how far they'll go. Um, I think Zod and Deathstroke were very good options for um, stat boosts, like Zod especially. I, I, I think Zod has a great kit now, um, but the guy has always kind of struggled with power creep. Um, but I'm, I'm very, very happy that he got a stat boost because the guy is a very unique kit as far as, you know, one, he can't miss, two, he's special damage, and he's crit-based. Like, nobody else gives crit chance ups as much as he does anymore, so that is is very nice to, to see. I, I'm I'm happy about that one. Yeah, well, he was on the lot. shelf for a while, too, because once Aquaman came out, it was, like, death to, like... The, the critical damage so it's like well that kind of kills Zod right. now that Aquaman's not everywhere under the sun you can break your Zod back out yeah you're not wrong less yeah. Supergirls too I've noticed I mean obviously Atro Supergirl is occasionally you hit a board where that's all you see but in general I feel like I'm seeing less of her overall so that's another crit damage reducer that again kind of like put Zod on the shelf after her rework right what do you guys think about that 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 chemo metal skin? I wanted to ask this too, but it's got a nice it? booty on it. <laughs> Sexy. They gave him a booty, <laughs> right? It's as smooth as Tootie's. Yes, Tootie's booties, just as perky as well. Well, you look at I don't know about booty. that. I actually showed that one to my wife. I was like, you need to look at this skin change they made. I was like, all right, so this is what he looked like before, and now this is him with a booty. And she's like, why are you guys so obsessed with the booties? I'm like, I can't explain oh. it. It's just the thing in the community. We like the booties. I don't know. I am an ass man, yes. 100%. Yeah, I mean, there's no pa no front package. It, well, a few, but uh, icon. so that's all you icon. got. The icon, icon package. Icon, I, th I think Terrific has one, too. 
Yeah, terrific yeah. and icon both like both have them and that like uh stereotypically that's that's pretty great. But, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say very 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 yeah. They're definitely stereotyping. Uh no, I love I love <laughs> somewhere, somewhere black man is like this is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit. Uh yeah, John Stewart. Like yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> um uh I, like his i like terrors i'm like all right it's all right i, yeah, I don't know i guess terrors. that's very comic book accurate but the i'm black like black lantern skin yeah, yeah yeah i'm like i don't i, I don't know i, yeah, I, I still you're bought it about how she's black lantern and she has a package and i'm like honey that's <laughs> that's not the stereotype really? i don't know that's a, different, that's, a, that's a different comic book uh that's some fan fiction right there oh well no I'm, I'm really actually i'm getting annoyed at black lantern skins like this don't get me wrong this one and some of the last few Black Lantern skins were a lot better than their first round of Black Lantern skins. Like they're actually like comic accurate. They're um, like actually like very detailed and stuff. And I yeah, guess the, the Spectre that, Black Lantern skin's okay. I mean, it's basic, but it's okay. I mean, it's got all the skulls on it, and that's there's a lot of levels of detail to it, which is really nice. Yeah, it's just like there are so many more like beautiful, picturesque, colorful. Uh, skins out there and i'm glad i'm i'm very glad actually that they gave us the red lantern supergirl that one looks beautiful mm -hmm. um, it does look nice and we have been asking for it for a while i know that it is probably not coming at the best time because yeah. she's very overused and it's just gonna make it worse um but at the same time like it was the skin that we all wanted and they gave us that new 52 one which is also beautiful don't get me wrong but it's basically just her normal skin with like better underwear yeah um, so i mean i'll take it but i'm i'm happier with the red lantern one and i hope i still hope that they give us you know other color lantern ones like scarecrow and um give us aw lex with an orange lantern skin that would be sexy that would be wasn't, nice um wasn't ray palmer a purple lantern for a while or in, in one of the indigos yes ray palmer the atom was a, a compassionate lantern um, the I mean, Black Hand already has that one too, so I mean, there's just there's a precedent there at least. Exactly, and <laughs> I'd like um, to see a skit for Superman. Oh yeah, <laughs> another, another one. one? Yeah. Anyone, anyone, because we don't really we only have seven. Uh, I, I think, I think uh, you know, right. the Lex Luthor Orange Lantern skin would be sweet. It would oh, be nice. Yeah. Even Mara, Mara was a Red Lantern. Yeah, too. that would be good too. Well, so, why just lanterns? I mean, there's so many, so many other. No, other well, great... but it's the based game on is themed Blackest around, Night. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the whole game is themed around Blackest Night, so. And it's just fun. Like the the that emotional kind of... spectrum is fun to just think about and be like, okay, what character would fit well with these color spectrums? And, um, you know, I I wasn't too sure about the like Adam and the Compassion one. That one didn't like they they built it up a little bit in this in the comic book right before it happened but it, mm -hmm. it didn't make a lot of sense to me um i would have loved to see hawk girl and hawk man get their respective colors because they they were revealed to be red and um star sapphire lanterns um which i thought would have been really cool um but they died before they could do that unfortunately there was a lot of awesome ones or the actually okay the one Black Lantern skin that I would actually be interested in seeing is Plastic Man, because like he is straight from a horror movie in that comic book. I I read that comic book um, shortly after starting the game, and Plastic Man's Black Lantern skin is like horrific, and it's really cool. Actually, like stretchy. Mm. He's constantly super stretched out. He's got basically like scully skeleton shit it looks like mr fantastic but like dead and wow. it was like really interesting to see i didn't realize plastic man could even die unless you like i don't know melted him, I, him. yeah well even that i don't know would work because i mean they what freeze um, him and smash him to pieces yeah and then he survived for like thousands of years underwater smashed to pieces and then they brought him back together oh did they really oh, yeah wow i didn't know that yeah, yeah that, that was in um immortal Oh shit! What was that storyline? That was uh, Justice League. Fuck. That's okay. I can't remember the name of the story, but it's they all go back in time to find Aquaman. It happens right after the Imperiex uh, War. Our war. Our war. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Our worlds at war. That storyline. Uh, right after that, Aquaman goes missing, and they find out that he got transported like back in time and shit. And 
They have to fight Gememne, the sea witch. That's actually where Manitou Raven gets introduced. Modern uh, Apache chief. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Because nice they little... like a Justice League in the past. That's actually, you know what? When you think about the Leviathan storyline from the Supergirl show, they basically cribbed all the characters like uh, the Rama Khan or whatever his name is, is in that comic storyline. Uh, they basically form like an ancient Justice League to battle the modern Justice League when they arrive in the past to try and save Aquaman and they all get murdered. And I forget how they do it, but, like, Manitou Raven basically preserves all the souls of the Justice League, like, in the heart of Kyle Rayner right before he rips it out of them. And then they resurrect all the Justice League in the modern time and trick the Sea Witch into bringing them back to life, basically, because she can't fight their ghosts. She's trying to fight their ghosts. Oh, and she can't okay. do shit against them. So she's like, fine, fuck it, and brings them all back to life. And they're like, woohoo, we win. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, I know, right? It's, it's a 10-year-old story. <laughs> Go read the fucking comics. Some people oh still haven't God. read it yet, man. Actually, I think it's a 20 year old story at this point. Obsidian that, Age. Yeah. There it is. Obsidian Age. <sighs> Not well, that you need to go read it. <laughs> well, maybe I will. I, that's, well, uh, I don't now. You're knowing how it ends. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah no exactly. There's more nuance to it than that, you know, if you want to go Wait, read is this it. the Save the Sea Hag from Popeye? <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then never mind. So I'm not going to read it. You know, the crazy thing is, before the podcast started, Sekju and I were talking about Popeye. Really? Yeah. yeah that's are. the craziest thing. As I was lighting my joint, it's my spinach. Yeah. Maybe you kind of <laughs> look like if Popeye just like aged a little bit. I was gonna say <laughs> he looks I? like a, like a young. Oh, AB. I was gonna say Sekju looks a lot like a little like a like a little Bluto. Oh wow. Yeah. Popeye Maybe. and Bluto. Yeah, you know, huh? I can see that if you yeah, I can see it. And, and actually, yeah. Tootie's asshole before the wax looked like Bootie's mustache <laughs> <laughs> and, and face. So it's uh, uh, that's pretty funny. All right, gang. Well, I tell you what, we're gonna wrap this thing up and take it around the horn for the last words, and we're gonna start with Tootie. Give us your last word, pal. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, it is currently sickness season i feel like you know the the seasons are changing hay fevers are taking effect so all i'm going to really say is take care of yourself you know drink water exercise get your sweat glands moving because if you don't if you stay stagnant if you eat a bunch of sugar like i did i got fucking hooked on sour patch kids recently i ate half a bag and the next day my throat was sore and i was not feeling the greatest so do your best to take care of yourself. And normally I put like some sort of sex joke in, but I talked about my, my taint a little too often today. So let's go ahead and just stay hydrated. Take your Advil. Do your best not to get sick because it's always stressful having to call into work and be like, I'm so sorry, but I'm literally dying. You know, please forgive me, dear overlords. You know, I need a sick day. I need probably a full week of sick days. Yeah. And then nobody ever likes you after that. They all think you're a lazy piece of shit. And I'm like, dude, I'm, I literally created a mountain of tissues. Um, so uh, I actually, I went to work this whole weekend feeling like shit. And be, like, as I was at work, it was the weirdest thing ever because I felt better because I was sweating my ass off pumping out like drinks and shit and like my runny nose basically didn't exist while i was at work my soreness kind of kind of went away it's like my body was like bro you don't have time to be sick right now you are like working your ass off so if you're feeling a little down under the weather just go like get on the treadmill for 30 minutes get some sweat going and you might actually feel really a lot better like your body might say it doesn't have time to be sick because you're out there sweating so that is my piece today. Sound advice, and uh, thank you very much. By the way, thank you again for having the first ever, what, live bleaching on a podcast, I think? <laughs> nairing? Right, nairing. the first ever nairing yeah. or bleaching. Well, whatever you did, it was the first live one ever. My so. camera was on the whole time to everybody who's listening. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Sect you? Tell us what's going down, buddy. Oh, fuck, man. I don't know. I was, it's, uh, I just got back from a wedding we were at yesterday. So, you know, 
celebrate the little moments in life where you can be happy. I don't know if they're going to be happy. Hopefully, <laughs> on the stretch they will be. It doesn't oh always God. work out, but um, they I seem like you a just happy. Got married yesterday, right? But like, well, you're already wishing them well, right? I don't know. In today's America, you know, divorce rates being what they are, but anyway, um, you know, they seem like a happy couple, and it's we've we've only gotten together with the family recently for funerals, so it's like woohoo, happy occasion, like yeah. wedding and stuff. So that that was fun and. You know, just try to have fun with the fun moments you get because I got to go to a fucking funeral next week. And it's like, God damn it. I like, get to have one good moment and then it's like back to the annoying shit. But um, yeah, keep yourself healthy out there, I guess. And uh, be careful what products you put in your private spaces and be sure to have them test them on AAD first. Uh, on duty, <laughs> possibly. Yeah, but, I hear uh, he's otherwise, game for that, I, so. I hope everyone has a nice week and... Uh, you know, just just keep at it. Keep at it. Goddamn PvP. Whatever whatever gets in your way, just laugh it off. Don't get upset. Just be happy that you can enjoy dicking around on your phone for 15 minutes a day or whatever, you know? Well said, buddy. I agree. All... Smoke more weed if you can. Woo! Yeah, there you go. That's a cure-all. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> All right. Thanks, buddy. Miss Junk, you get the last word today. Wow. Wow. Well, uh... This, I guess along the same lines, it, it's it's not just like sickness season. It also seems to be another depression season. Uh, I know a lot of my friends are down. I've been down a lot. I just like, it's tough. Being being depressed is tough. And it, it's, 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 I know a lot of people who are depressed. They talk about the work they have to go through. Like they have to, if they don't eat right, if they don't exercise, if they don't meditate and go to therapy, they'll fall into this depression. And just if, if you get down, it's, just force yourself to do something that you love. I know like when people are depressed, like I know when I get depressed, I don't want to leave the house. I don't want to leave the bed. Um, but but then every time I go and do something that I have, like I feel better. Like sometimes there's so many times, like I'll, I'll go see my friends at where, where I work and, and it's just, I immediately feel better. I feel like I'm, and this podcast, after doing this podcast, I always feel better. So just find something uh -huh. and force yourself to get out. And uh, give treat yourself to a little bit. Of, treat yourself right. That's very sweet. Thank well, you. Well, thank you. And when we all feel, I, I know I feel the same way. We all feel better when we're doing the show. I think. Mm -hmm. uh, every it's one cathartic. of us. Yeah, exactly. Hundred <laughs> yep. percent. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. So that's why I showed up here in the morning when I should still be sleeping. I was like, you know what? I really love this podcast. I'm gonna be there today. Damn right. And we love you for doing it, buddy. Absolutely. And I could take care of the rest of your pecker and go back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Finish waxing your flagpole, buddy. Yep. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. We want to thank all of you for taking the time to be with us today. Get on our website, AtlantisAfterDark.com. Grab some cool swag from the merch store. Get on Discord and talk directly with us. And then hit that subscribe button because you know you want to. For Tootitron, for Sekju, and for DCL Junk, we'll see you all right here next time for another fantabulous episode of Double A D. So long, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>